to Philadelphia, the third quarter. And here's the last quarter coming up. Who's it to be? The Blues and the Kangaroos. Kicked on the Carlton's half forward line. That's Ian Collins with the ball playing in the centre for the Blues. He kicks it down to the full forward zone up as Greenwood. He's on his 19th man. North hard first here. There's a North player down. This has been a pretty tough game, particularly that last quarter. Now bursting out of the pack, it's Greenwood. This kick goes high into the air. Kevin Hall comes out from the three in the picture, taken by Gordian. He's grabbed by Hall. And the free kick from go to Michael Gordian, the North Melbourne winger, who's going to take his kick on the half-back line. This will be Gordian's 12th kick. And the ball puts it uh, north into attack. And here's Teasdale coming out to take a low mark well down like a slips catch. And Teasdale's been a great player for North. He gets it further downfield. That's marked by Bernie McCarthy. McCarthy, another one of the North stars. This will be his 16th kick. Bernie McCarthy on the centre-half forward position. And North trail by two points. A long kick downfield. Almost marked by Frank Good. It's kicked away, back upfield. A chance here for uh, North Melbourne to score through Quaid. And it's through. And North Melbourne hit the front. Two goals to Quaid. And it's North, four points in front. Well, the end that they're kicking to North. It appears that the wind is favouring it. It looks as though it could have been. It could be a North Melbourne victory as the players certainly are going on with the job where Carlton seem to have stopped a bit. Long way to go yet though as the ball bounced up again. Nichols takes it out of the air, punches it forward. Sylvani couldn't do much with it, follows up. But Teasdale's there for uh, North Melbourne. It's finally taken away by Gallagher. He gets it down to the half forward line. And it's uh, Waddington in front. The right foot uh, gets it up to the north half forward line. Out into the open spaces. Coming there is Lloyd. He loses the ball, kicked off the ground by Allison. The whistle's gone. Free kick to go here. It's to go to Tommy Allison by the look of it. No, it's not. It's to go to uh, Lloyd of Carl. Oh, it's a bad kick. He hooks it right across his body. It goes out towards the boundary line, and Dwyer and Stewart can't get to it. And it's uh, almost on the wing position on the grandstand side. North Melbourne kicking towards the Arden Street end. Up they go. Nichols is uh, trying to get the ball. Quaid did well to stop him. Nichols then punts it away. Picked up there by uh, Benton and shot forward for North Melbourne. A good mark is taken by Crane for Carlton. He's almost midfield. Punt kick as one would expect. Up the wood Stewart. He punches away from Sylvain. Pretty rough and tough in there. Number six is Dugdale, 15 Stewart. That's Sylvani on the right of the screen. Ibrahim there, number 332 is Quirk. And it'll be a ball up on Carlton centre half forward position or thereabouts. Nichols comes in. The ball doesn't bounce well at all for him. It goes uh, straight to Teasdale. He punches it out. It's taken by Collins. He gets it forward. Only to find the only bloke near the ball is Doug Bale of North Melbourne. And uh, he'll be re relieved for the Kangaroos. The three minute mark in the last quarter. Channel 9's coverage of the North Melbourne Carlton matches. The ball is pushed back towards the centre. McCarthy a long way from the centre half forward post. Traces the ball. John Gould in front of him. McCarthy pushes him out of the road. But in doing so, He's given away a free kick. And now this means Gould is on the half-forward flank, gets the free kick, quickly plays on, down to Carlton's forward pocket position. Appealing for the mark down there is uh, Frank, uh, Bob Good, not Frank Good, and he'll relieve for North. Kicks the ball to the half-back line, up is McQueen to knock the ball away. It comes out to Gordian, a pretty active winger for North today. He gives it to Teasdale. Teasdale, a punt kick onto the centre wing. North trying to come forward again. Up is McCarthy. McCarthy plays on. And here come the uh, Kangaroos as he gets it forward to Carol Nicholas. He takes the mark. He's hit pretty hard by uh, Willis Lobs. And Barry Gill comes in to lend a hand. The Carlton boys are going to be penalised for this one. Carol Nicholas comes closer to goal. In the meantime, the ball is in the forward pocket that Nichols is there striving to uh, defend. It comes back to Cara Nicholas. The handballs are looking for uh, good. Nichols punches the ball away twice. The second time to John Gould. And Gould kicks it back to the centre wing for the Blues. Up is Crane. That higher still is McCarthy in front of him. And what a good player this fellow's been. That's his 10th mark. And this is his 18th kick coming up. Bernie McCarthy, centre-half forward for the North Melbourne side. Downfield comes his kick. Gould punches the ball away. Picked up by Ibrahim. Ibrahim's kick is a high one for the North Melbourne's forward pocket. And it's over the line. The four-and-a-half-minute mark in the final quarter. 
North Melbourne lead by four points. On the other side, the Carlton fans urging their team on, but North have the advantage at the moment. Up as Nichols punches the ball backwards somehow. Gould is there, tries to pick it up. Cara Nicholas gives it across to Teasdale. Teasdale, a long hand pass forward to Ibrahim. Ibrahim's caught with the ball. Teasdale picks it up, and the free kick goes to Carlton. Well, it's right in the last line of defence. Will be taken by Ron Stone. And he's right in the back pocket position. Carlton defending grimly. They're four points down. There's a kick by Stone, and it uh, is uh, inaccurate. And it's across the line on the half forward line for North Melbourne. Two is Nichols. 36 Peter McLean. 11 Johnny Gould. And they'll be there or thereabouts when the throw in comes. Two for uh, North Melbourne there, as we know, is Teasdale. 19 is Quaid, but it's Nichols with the right hand backhand punch. Gets it where a shark by Teasdale. He gets on his left foot, sends it in towards the goals. Up they go, Stone was up there. It's through, I think, for one behind. And North take their lead to five points. 5-15-45 to 6-4-40. And Carlton have been pretty quiet in the last quarter and a bit of this one. And now North coming to attack. Down towards their star, Bernie McCarthy. Over the top, it's John Gould. Benton comes through. Gets the ball across towards Dowdle. The crowd is livening up. North stream downfield. Dowdle, a high kick into the forward pocket position. Up they fly. A chance for Frank Cook. The ball bounces right for him. Stone brings him to the ground. Good punch the ball forward. It goes to Quaid. Quaid. It's a snap shot. It's true. And three goals to Quaid. And North Melbourne lead by 11 points. What a great comeback. Great comeback it is, Don. North deserved this. There's uh, Frank Good, I think. He was hooked. The trainer almost went there. The ground is slippery and he hasn't got stops on, or has he? But uh, Frank Good is the centre of attention as he's going down on the ground. There's the score, 51 to 40. And North Melbourne looked like they could take this match out. And it's been a pretty good revival as an accuracy kept them out of the game. From the ball up, it's uh, Kenny Dean sending North forward again. Here's a chance for them. As Ibrahim throws himself in on the ball there, he's tackled, loses the ball. Play on, says the umpire, good decision. It comes to Terry Board of Carlton. He gets it forward to them. Quirk falls over, and oh, O'Brien takes the mark, and uh, Quirk took a thank you. The half-back line, O'Brien sends North forward again onto their half-forward line with a towering punt kick. The big men are there, the Carlton fellas are trying to mark it. That's Gould with it. He punches it out, taken by Ibrahim. His head's towards an open goal. Another read North. 15 and the crowd goes mad. There's Johnny Ibrahim who kicked that last goal, receiving the portents of the crowd. And North, what a comeback by them. 57 to 40. They lead by 17 points. 11 minutes into the last quarter. Can the Blues get up and take this game away? Not the way North are playing at the moment. Let's see what happens. Umpire Shields at the centre bounce. And the Rucks come in. Up is Big Carr, takes the ball out of the air. It's knocked forward under North's half-forward line. But the whistle goes and the free kick goes against North to be taken by Gary Crane, the Carlton winger. A long kick by Crane, down to the half-forward line. A chance for Nichols. Nichols uh, knocks it forward. It comes across to Rick McLean. A left-foot kick by McLean in towards goal. Is it going to bounce through? No, it's touched at the last minute by um, Bob Good as he came through, and it's a point to Carlton. It's uh, 12 and a half minutes into the final quarter with the scores 57 North Melbourne, 41 Carlton in a thrilling match at the Gasometer Oval. Johnny Dugdale to kick out. The long, towering kick. Greenwood goes up. Couldn't quite mark it. It was punched away by, by Carr. I wouldn't like to be in there. It's pretty tough. Shot across here by Peter McLean to uh, push Stewart. Stewart weaves around, gets on his correct kicking foot, sends it forward. Gallagher can't mark, he was bustled out of position. Teasdale gets his left foot to it. That's his 23rd kick over the heads of everyone. Now it runs in towards Ron Stone. He's way out of position for a back pocket. Ruckman up towards Nichols, he flies high. O'Brien punches the ball away. It's a chance here for Quirk. He gives it across to Adrian Gallagher. The left foot snap in towards goal. Dugdale's in the way from North Melbourne. Well, the Northerners breathe a sigh of relief and the Carlton fans are disappointed but this last McCarthy punches North Melbourne forward in comes Cara Nicholas he's a long way from goal but he's uh, had a running shot it'll bounce through it does it's Cara Nicholas's goal it's North Melbourne's eighth they go to 65 there's no doubt now he's going to win it for 23 and a half minutes into the last quarter and the crowd has decided the fate of the game is over as they start to leave 